I know what you're thinking. T90, this is quite possibly the most interesting game that I've ever seen. I know, already we have three houses being built as opposed to two. Incredible stuff. Low elo legends, this is... This is on the lower side. This is... <laughs> this is on the end of low elo legends where you begin to remember what the game was like before build orders. What the game was like before hotkeys. And uh, before you even played online or knew online play existed, okay? Uh, we have Colatara. What's their elo again? 600, 560. Colatara. He is playing as the Saracens. And then we have Nickname Nico, who's playing as the Byzantines over here. Hey, Pappy, when is next hidden cup? So I'm going to get to a few questions and, and that don't know and, and whatnot here in a moment. But uh, Byzantines against Saracens. How many people with the show of 17s in the Twitch chat? Uh, used to always pick Byzantines, or still do pick Byzantines. I think Byzantines, truthfully, are an underrated save at the high level. And also, they're very good civilization for low-level players. You know what's funny, though? Normally, it's standard for you to build two houses at the start. And if both players do that, then... Oh, wait, there we go. Th then, um, there'd be four houses on the map. Red started off with three, and blue started off with one. So, uh... It was four houses. Oh, this is all. Oh, no, oh, the lumber can't. Oh, man, he doesn't have small trees. See, he doesn't have the small trees mod, so his trees go up to here. So he doesn't realize that there's a there's a gap in between the lumber camp and the uh, and the wood line. However, I'm happy that he's building a lumber camp. Over here, you have Red uh, chopping the straggler tree and walking around the goat to drop off the resources. So. I would say I like Nickname Nico's start more. I feel like Low Elo Legends is, uh, for a lot of people, they just... Th they feel like they're able to relate to it. Even people in community games nowadays are very experienced, so I think many people just... They look at Low Elo Legends and they're like, this is how I used to play, or this is how I play. Uh, and that's, that's good to see. Now, there's one thing that Red's not doing right now... <coughs> Oh, excuse me, and uh, it bothers me. He's not setting gather points. Do you see this? He could wait a second. Oh, he just set a gather point. Okay, so it took him till the fourth minute to figure it out. But he knows that when he creates a new villager, he can send it somewhere now. That's good. Okay, there we go. That That's good. Um, he's also scouting manually right now, which I think is pretty cool to see for someone at this elo. Whereas I think blue... What's blue up to? Blue is... This, to me, looks like auto-scout. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> no town bell, just passing. Yeah, auto-scout will go to the corner of the map, usually. That blue is not clicked anywhere, as far as I know, and he's just passing. All right, T90 passing in the chat, boys. And girls. Everybody. Let's go, cousin. Oh, man, this is bad. He didn't even scout his own base before clicking auto-scout. That's really, really bad. This is the order of events, all right? This is how it should work. You find your goats. You find your boars. You find your resources. You find your enemy. You see if your enemy is going to make military. You see what buildings your enemy is making. You keep your scout there at all times to see what they're doing. And then, when you don't really need that scout anymore, then you click auto-scout. Blue's order was, let's find no goats and click auto scout. I think it's auto scout, but the way it's moving is making me think he might be controlling it. No, no, he's actually controlling it. Hold on, does view lock work? Keep in mind that view, oh wait, oh my, oh! <laughs> Whoa, wait a second, you, okay, I could see exactly what he just did. Let's go, let's With those two villagers... He just built four houses, and then he command queued them to go to the trees again afterwards. Okay, now- Oh, he's gonna attack! He's gonna attack, and Red's gonna defend. Red got Loom. Yo, this is aggressive stuff right here. Pog Champ. So, with view lock, it only shows when someone clicks something or goes for some type of an action, like right there. So now he's going to make a barracks, which is a bit confusing, because he's only at 16 pop. He doesn't have food. I don't know what he's going to do, exactly. He's building everything so close to his TC. He hasn't scouted enough to know that he could, like, build it here in between the wood lines. 
Or what's Red up to? Well, Red, he scouted more, but he's not going to take his boars, apparently. Uh, Blue will lose that scout if he chooses to fight this. How many people here do not lure their boars? I, I feel like... The first step of consuming Age of Empires content is normally YouTube, right? And I think there's a lot of people on YouTube who might not. But then if you take that next step and you show up to a stream, I feel like at that point you're going to lure some pigs, right? I could be wrong, but I feel like it would make sense. Because coming to the stream is definitely a leap of faith. Like, this guy is somewhat interesting on videos. Do I actually want to watch him live with a bunch of other weirdos doing the same? You know, that's, that's a tough decision to make, right? So I feel like most... Okay, it looks like most people will do it in most instances. Okay. Um, what's up? Why does he have three houses here and not three houses here? Is this intentional? It's the exact same pattern. Listen, if I call you a weirdo, I'm calling myself a weirdo. All right, it's fine. Blue's... Blue knows about his deer, he knows about his boar. I bet you a lot of people bring in boars like this. Wait a second, but what What the... You have food in their... There's food in their hands, where are they going? What? Is he gonna go for this boar now? What? Why not wait? There's still 200 food here, why not wait? Oh, he... Oh, wait! Oh, 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 wait! Is he bringing it back to the TC? Oh, this is not gonna end well. This is not going to end well. This is this could be really bad. He does not have loot. Wait a second. Oh, no. No, get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. No. No. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, uh, okay. So, he... He dropped off the food. Now he's going to play... Okay, this is a bit awkward. But my, my right contact is about to fall out, and contacts are really expensive. So I'm actually going to have to put view blue on view lock as he does this. I'm so sorry, but I have to go deal with this because I don't want to ruin my contact. There you go. Just enjoy blue's uh, double stable scout rush and his board lure. Okay, I'm back. I, I decided to just put it in the contact case, so right now I can't... Uh, I'm like half blind. Wait, so he he's idling his TC, not creating any villagers, and he is, he's been able to produce three scouts. Okay, meanwhile, red... See, like, this should be bad for blue, but I think low elo players, they do not like to get rushed. And I don't even know what Red's plan is at the moment, because he's on stone and then he wants to go to this stone? What? So the scouts could really scare him, at the very least. I mean, this could also easily be a Lel situation. I haven't played the game in 18 years. He's down, like, he's down by 11 vils because of this. He's down by 11 vils because he's not creating any more, but he's putting all of his food income into scout production. And I think it might scare... Red, who's making defensive towers? By the way, Red has a scout here. He has not once gone to his opponent's base to see what his opponent could be doing. If he makes spearmen, he could be fine. Towers are not great against scouts. I think it's... This is so fascinating to me, because I could see Red just 
being like, nope, I'm out of here. Players at this ELO do not enjoy getting attacked and losing things. Not this early, that's for sure. Here come the scouts. I, I, I imagine we're going to hear a bell. Yep. Ding, 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 ding. Okay, there's the bell. Will Red know what to do now? If he makes three to four spears, he deals with that no problem. Okay, he unrings the bell. Why is the bell bad? Because villagers who were not in harm's way just stopped collecting resources. That's why the bell's bad. And it gets worse the larger your economy gets. But he's making spears. And blue is still at 16 villagers. Obviously something red does not know. He's getting scale barding armor. Okay, red is going to lose quite a few vills here. Oh, 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 everything. Ding, 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 ding. All right, at least he unrang the bell, so the villagers over here are still collecting some res. Um, he's going to get enough spears to deal with this. Can we please salute Kolatara, or Koltira, or however you say that name, uh, for not resigning, first thing? Because I bet you that happens a lot at this elo. Where is he going now? Is he going to another woodline? Is he going to go to the corner for a safe woodline? Oh, that's that's next level. Next level, boys and girls. Let's go. If you hide the lumberjacks, they can't kill the lumberjacks. All right. Blue is still not creating vills. This is so baffling to me. <laughs> he just completely stopped eco. No eco upgrades. Nothing. Like, if my attack doesn't win me the game, it's game over and I resign. That's a lot of spears. No, no, no. That's... I think that's too many spears. Yes, he does have upgrades. But it's too many. Okay, so now I wonder if Blue gives up on the attack and starts to focus on his economy again. That or he just becomes a massive nerd and tries to find areas to hit. Yep, look, <laughs> you know what's so precious about this? He wanted this lumber camp to be as far away <laughs> as possible. <laughs> so he placed the lumber camp on the edge of the map. He could have placed it here. He could have placed it here. It would have been fine. But he's like, <laughs> I have to be as safe as possible. So I'm going to put it up against the edge of the map. Oh, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. He's so scared, man. <laughs> But he's continuing to create fills. Now, remember before, three houses in a clump. Three houses in a clump. He's currently housed. So he's got to realize this. Oh, this is so funny. Blues come over to the wood line, and there's nothing there. What elo is this you just got here? Uh, these are top 100 players. They are, uh, this is the best of seven $500 show match. Archer range is now from blue. Dude, create villagers! Create extra villagers. I'm, I'm still really curious what will happen. Three houses! It's the same thing! Why does he do this? Why does he build this triangular pyramid shape? It's a, it's a tri house. It's not a tri hard, it's a tri house. I stole that one from chat. But he stopped building. Now he's going to make a blacksmith in a perfect spot for a farm. Okay, so small suggestions. I, uh, more try houses. What? That's so peculiar to me. I've never seen anything like that before. Okay. Um, you could use your scout. At least click auto scout at this stage of the game if you want to. Okay. Here he's, it looks like he's going out to attack. I don't know. Uh, you could patrol the forward randomly. You could do a lot of things. Uh, make sure you use patrol or attack move with your military units, though. Otherwise, you're going to lose spearmen to scouts. Okay, he's noticed. Now, see, Blue has done the right thing to make archers since his opponent is making spears. The The problem, though, is that he's not... Uh, he actually is adding some villagers now. But yeah, the problem is the economy. So now you have spearmen poking archers, which really shouldn't happen. 
I mean, they could poke, they just shouldn't survive. I still feel like we're, we're gonna have another situation, and I just had massive deja vu. Where maybe if blue clicks up to Castle Age first, red might be frightened. Like, he was so scared that he built a lumber camp on the edge of the map. Imagine what happens if Castle Age Knights or something comes in. 20 villagers at 26 minutes for blue, but he does have his buildings to go up to the next stage. He just has to wait for the, the gold to come in. The problem for red is he is creating villagers, but at this point he is 6 queued. He might as well just go Castle Age. And now he's gonna go where? Oh, he's gonna get his boar. I mean, I'm gonna be real with you, Coltira. I feel like this is not the time to take a boar, especially because Blue had his military wandering around here. Y you've got to have a little bit more urgency here. That, this, this is dangerous. L look at the amount of resources that Red has. You've got to cancel some of these vills, and you've got to get to the castle age. Is Blue going to be able to afford anything? <laughs> he doesn't even have fletching, which is a feudal age upgrade. It's 100 food and 50 gold. He definitely can't afford to get fletching and bodkin. So maybe fletching and crossbow, I don't know. Give the three house met to a shot if he dominates this game. New build order confirmed. This is crazy to me. At least red is producing spears. Okay, click, click up. Go up to him! Go up to Castle Age, my friend. Okay, stone mining and gold mining. Alright, he's getting those upgrades. Good, go for it. Click to Castle Age, though. You're gonna have the food for it still, despite the vills queued. Cancel some vills and go up to Castle Age. Stonks in the chat. Come on, you need to, you need to go up. If you go up, your elo goes up. Wow, the timing. He's so next lever that... He left his boar carcass at the proper time. Have you ever seen anything like that before? Archer range. Okay. No feudal age upgrades for a now castle age nickname Nico. Now the rule of thumb that I tend to explain to you guys with archers is don't fight with archers before fletching. He's in castle age fighting with archers before fletching. You see how little they do to loomed villagers. Still, Red should not be this confident. He's still going to end up losing two. Okay, this should make Red freak out. This should send Red to Castle Age, correct? Kultira, you have your buildings. I understand you're very frightened right now. I understand. You know, life is rough. There, there's a lot of uneasy situations in the world, but... You know what helps you with that? Castle Age. Boom! Alright, Castle Age. Now, blue is... Whoa, whoa. Red is just stealing four goats with spearmen. That is a new one. Okay. So someone in the chat said red forward buildings. Nope, those are forward goats. Not forward buildings. Uh, oh, red sold a crossbow and funny enough can use the scout to kill that crossbow easily. And then could pull in this scout to kill the next crossbow, and then could use the spears against the villagers! What type of a counterattack is this? A blue doesn't have loom! No loom! Oh my god! Feudal spearmen killing villagers. Villagers of a player who's making archers. Why on earth? Oh, he's gonna ring the bell, so all these villagers are gonna hop into the TC, even though they're not in harm's way. Fantastic. Well, you know what? Blue didn't have economy before, he doesn't need it now. All he's got to do is micro this army like crazy. And again, the scout. Amazing value. This should be Red's game now. I think he weathered the Castle Age Storm. Um, he is making... Um, he's, he's not actually making that, that much. Oh, no, no, he has the skirmishers there. Sorry, I genuinely couldn't see it because my one eyeball's out right now. Does he have upgrades too? He is... He is armor and he also has fletching oh yeah he's fine no need to get spearmen upgrades really you done enough with them but i guess it's not gonna hurt yeah he's gonna be fine here especially if he clicks elite skirm i think blue's gonna he's not gonna know what to do 
What is Blue doing right now? As he will uh, lose this fight. He is... Oh, he's he's microing. Okay. <laughs> Red is now... Red is now going to get uh, forging for the Spearman. Blue doesn't even have Loom. And uh, the, the Villager dies, as do most of the Spears. Will the Spearman get a kill? Micro! Micro! Doink! One more! Doink! Oh, oh, so close! One more hit! One more hit, she would have died. Dang, man. Alright. Well, Kaltira, you, you did it. You made it to Castle Age. Congratulations. Um, nothing is really... No, nothing seems to be on the agenda right now. Let me go to view lock. So assuming this is working correctly, which it rarely does, uh, the next time Red performs an action, it should show us that action. Okay, I see Red has selected a farmer. And then clicked... Wait a second. Click the wood. Okay, gonna drop off the wood. This means he wants to go forward for a castle, right? Right? Where, where are they going? Okay, he's just clicked a villager to the goats? Wait, wait a second, wait a second. What's the deal here? Okay, going to the goat, building a farm. Okay, no gather point on the TC again. How did he do that? He had a gather point before. Oh, I mean... Oh, that was the... Is that the same exact gather point as earlier? How did he cancel his gather point that he had earlier? And then where are these villagers going? What? By the way, throughout all this time, Blue is creating some vills, so that's good to see. Blue has a scout down here. I think he wants a safe base. I think he's coming down here because he wants to be safe. Okay, he sees the lion. Will he, will he attack the lion with his scout? W watch him build another lumber camp. That'd be so funny to me. Alright, attack the lion. Rar. Okay, he's distracted because he created more vills. I like it. Uh, both should get eco upgrades more frequently. Not a big deal. Try house? Wait, he deleted one. Why delete one? He didn't like it for some reason. And now he's going to build a TC down here. So, instead of going to the middle to build a town center where all the gold is, he... He feels like this helped him earlier, so he wants to do another sneaky base. Okay. Bodkin Arrow now. Chain Barding for nickname. Is he gonna have night? Yo. Guys, if he has Chain Barding on knights... Byzantines don't get bloodlines, but Chain Barding's a big upgrade. This could do damage to red. A knight here, a knight here, a knight here. I won't expect Blue to spread them out, but... It is possible that Blue could win. And also Blue... Oh, he doesn't see it. What a shame. Try house again! But why, though? <laughs> this is so fascinating to me. He's built all of his houses like this. Why? Every single little group of houses are the same. Okay, now a defensive castle. I Hey, if you're not going to go offensive with it, go defensive with it. I like it. This has been a problem area for him, so I can't hate on it. Also, making some camels. I think he's just trying to make a little bit of everything, so... You know, the, the most important thing is that he's been creating economy. So, he's not really creating any villagers right now from this TC. But, I'm sure he will, someday. Okay, here comes Blue. Now, imagine if Blue could deny that castle. That is... I think unrealistic. With four villagers building, I think the castle will go up. Just in time. Blue, he really struggles with creating eco and villagers at the same time. I get this question a lot. T90, how do I balance my eco and military at the same time? Practice. You gotta force yourself out of your comfort zone, okay? 
So uh, I'm going to do an example here. This is what the game would look like if I was playing. Look like that, right? Might make some of you dizzy if you're new. That's normal to me because I force myself to set control groups on my armies and go back to my TC frequently. So you got to get in the habit of doing it and then it just becomes second nature. Wait a second. Did he click three villagers to this tree? And then command Q them to the farms. Alright. At least he's going to make more farms. But that means they have to actually chop through the entirety of this tree. Before they build those farms. So that's going to take some time. Alright, he's getting iron casting. So he'll have full upgrades. <laughs> Need to earn the wood for the farms. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I think the camels and the... Hmm. Okay, there's absolutely no reason to get Madrasa. Madrasa means if you lose monks as Saracens, you get you get uh, some of the gold back. So that really doesn't affect red at all right now. But I think with Mamelukes and camels, blue's options are not good enough. Yes, he does have full upgrades, but I think there's enough counter units in here where if red actually fights, blue will, uh, he's not going to have a favorable engagement here. Mamelukes, camels, spears, all those things counter knights. And uh, now nickname Nico is, is running away. This is why you add economy, okay? This is why you get eco upgrades. I'm sure he's won enough games with early attacks. But Kultir is not about it. I just... I really want to cast more Kultir games now. Because this house thing fascinates me. I feel like it would be disrespectful to Kultir to not investigate further. You know? Like, that, that is a weird thing. Does he do that every single game? That's so specific, he has to. Oh man, Brizzlin, hello! Nice to see you. Thank you for the eight months. And Blata and Mike Hardik. That was a close one. Uh, thank you guys for the Twitch primes. They really don't like walling. This is true. This is true. Okay, Pikeman now for blue. Again, the problem is he does not have economy. So he just researched Pikeman, which is 210, 215 food, 90 gold. Super expensive. And now he's going to make three more barracks because he wants more pikemen, but he doesn't have the economy, okay? Economy is the most important thing. That's what Blue has forgotten in this game. He does, like, some people forget blacksmith upgrades, but they have economy. Blue doesn't have economy, but he gets blacksmith upgrades. So he's got it half right. There's, there's always positives if you look hard enough for it. Red, knowing that Blue does not have economy, decided to damage that further by attacking the mining camp. His economy will be even worse if I do this. But no, um, you know, he's he's dealt with the knights now, and for some reason he's running away? Why? Why? Oh, you take that, Barracks. Raw! Okay. Well, I mean, he's gonna win. Coltira, this is Coltira's game right now. This is definitely his game. Blue still doesn't have loot. I think it's safe to say that Blue's 560 rating is quite impressive considering he doesn't really... He doesn't stay on top of the production of villagers or get any eco upgrades. Okay, so Red has just made a very big mistake. I'm gonna... Like, this is common, so... Um, I I'm not really surprised that this is happening. Red clicked the barracks with his military units. And they were given the task of destroying the barracks. They will obey you. And if units come out, then you will not be able to react in time. You will lose your entire army. So, what do you do if you're in that situation and you don't want to have to look back at your army at all times? You leave them on attack stance. You sit them here. If there's no units, they will automatically prioritize the building and attack the barracks anyways. The second the unit shows up, they say, hey, look, there's a unit. I should probably kill that. And they attack the unit. Make sense? 
So if you are ever in that situation, whether it's a barracks, a house, a stable, a, a castle, uh, just leave them on attack stance. Click them next to the Trying building, to catch a monthly not stream. on the building. Don't worry, I'm watching still. Okay. Kultira is is very frightened. Uh, and still not in the middle. Like, look at all that stone. Still not even a castle in the middle. Nobody's taking the pits. I'm really excited for when Kultira gets to 105 population, because I want to see Kultira build more houses. <laughs> For, for those that just got here, every time Kultira builds houses, he always builds three in a little triangle. He, he's done that all game. He started off with these three, then went to these three, then to these three, then to these three. Wow, okay, he's even he's even going to make some stone walls for his cute little base in the corner. That, that is safe right there. That is, that is protection. Okay, blue. Wow, these farms... I have to say I'm impressed. Very impressive farm location. You know it's a good farm when the villagers have to have to uh, walk extra long distances to drop off the food. All right. In theory, because Coltira is having such a hard time finishing blue off, if blue takes the middle and suddenly learns to create villagers at all times and get eco upgrades, blue could come back. Like you give a 1300 player blue's position right now, the 1300 player comes back and wins. Definitely. So you never know at low elo. This is perhaps what's so difficult about learning when you're at this level. Because it's like, you ask what should I do? I say make eco. But then you die because you don't make military, right? Like there's so many factors. It depends so many things. <gasps> the scout has gone down for Coltira. That might freak him out. We are nearing uh, Kultira being population capped. Okay, that's a lot of spearmen moving out, so no hesitation. And blue should run away. Like, the pikemen could fight here, I guess, but he should run away with the knights. Or he could engage on the hill. Actually, that's a good fight. Using the hill bonus. What a beast. That's actually a really good fight. He's going to clear that. And, and Red might be confused. Like, wait a second. I thought pikemen or spearmen would work. Uh-oh. What do I do now? Hill bonus. Mamelukes, though. Mamelukes are sick. Do you guys think Red's going to know that he can use the market as Saracens? That's what worries me. He has not built a market at all. And I don't think he's going to know that you can sell wood and sell food for gold. And while Mamelukes with Micro can do well against this, without Micro, if the pike can get hits, it could be dangerous. Okay, I don't understand why, but Blue thinks the right play now is to make Man-at-Arms. So he made, he made one Man-at-Arm. Wouldn't it be funny if Blue finds the corner lumber? That would be so funny to me. Oh, man. This is... You guys wanted the lowest possible game, and here we have it. One of the lowest online games right now. I'd just like to say thank you to these players for playing online. I know there's a lot of people who, who have stepped out of their comfort zone after low Elo Legends. So props to these two, man. This is, this is quite a game, but... If Blue's just gotta... He's gonna get his eco right, but I've said that so many times. No eco, no problem. Can Blue... Does Blue... Wait a second. Change of plans and change of targets. Blue's idle scout, which has been here since the feudal age, now notices Red's side base, and he's not happy about it. Okay, now... <laughs> Brilliant scouting from blue, but brilliant foresight from red to stonewall this. <laughs> oh my god, both players could build multiple castles. Oh, I can't, it really hurts me to look at blue's economy. It, it actually, it brings me physical pain. The farms, the lumber camps, the lack of upgrades, I just, 
You know what? Hold on. Isn't there a way? There's a way that I can remove this. I, I shouldn't, though. Supplies! Wait a second. Did did Red just use the market? He did. Red used the market. Oh, that's amazing. Look how much gold he has now. Woo! Okay, Red's gonna have to build houses soon. Yeah, because he's gonna he's gonna get pop capped. Where is he gonna build the houses? He's gonna what the What in the He's gonna try and wall blue in. Alright, here comes red, and here comes blue. They're fighting in the south. Okay. Would not surprise me if, if red is scared and wants to build a castle here, but I don't think he can. Don't you leave... Hold on. The gate's locked. Blue is now trying to get through. There's no overchop. Any houses from Red? I'm still trying to keep you updated with the houses and his try houses. He's going for another side lumber camp. He loves that. And Blue is now knocking on the door. Uh, Blue is trying to run the other way at the same time and meets walls. I believe he's noticed that, though. And now Red is repairing his gates. And he is really terrified right now. So, you know what's funny is, we have Red who brings in so many resources, right? And then we have Blue who brings in so little, but he spends it. So it's the classic one player upgrades and one player creates. The other player ecos, but they can't, they're, they're too boomery to, to make stuff. Like, look at those resources. Okay, the, the wall uh, was denied. It is 44 military versus 33. I would really like to see Blue bring over villagers and drop a castle here. I think a castle in the corner would be hilarious. Um, Red's just gotta get... Okay, now he's gonna make a tower. Well, I mean... He can't fit a castle, so... He might as well make something, and that might scare... Uh, that might scare Blue off. We are one hour and one minute into this game. Not a single person has gone to the middle. Not a single villager has collected gold in the middle. There's not a castle. There's not a TC. There's not a mining camp. There's not a palisade wall. There's not a wolf. There's nothing except for Blue's military in the middle right now. Go up to it. Wait a second. Wait a second. These are stone miners. They've been pulled off stone. He has no loom. He's definitely thinking about it. This is the moment. The moment we've all been waiting for. The no loom, one hour, long swordsman being teched castle. Where is it going? Where is it going? Here he comes. Alright, he, here he goes. Go up to him! Red, go up to him! Wait, he's housed. He's housed. Is he going to build three houses again? He's got to realize this somewhere. Three houses here. And then he has 12 houses at home. He's going to need three more. Uh, at least that's what he tends to do. Blue, just go for the passive castle, all right? You have the army. Don't go too balls deep here. Just just build them. Build a safe castle in the middle. Okay, we have a social gathering in the middle of the pit. Oh my, is he going to... He wants to win this game with the castle, doesn't he? He could fight that. He could fight that. Honestly, you just need to commit. Oh, Blue will win that. Blue will win that fight, and then he might... TC! I thought it was gonna be a castle, man. Oh my god. R Red's thinking that he could send camels into this, but with that many pikemen... Oh, he's ringing the bell? This is... Coltira might panic. Sadly, this also means we're not going to see if Kaltira will build houses the way he did before because he's just lost a lot of pop. Blue is guarding the wall. And uh, now he will need to run away, but that was a really good fight for him. Oh man, Kaltira, go to the Imperial Age, my friends. Please, go- like, Imp and Arbalest would just end the game. Go to the Imperial Age. I mean, Blue is already having enough of a- 
He was having a tough time creating out of this TC. And now there's a second TC. And now he's going to produce out of it. Oh my goodness. He just needed to really give himself a reason to make more villagers. You don't need to make villagers at your own base, apparently. So now he's like, oh yeah, I like gold. Let's go gold. And now, wait a second. Was Kultira not on the way to Imp a moment ago? Did he cancel it? Oh, okay. He's... Okay, okay he got masonry, and he's getting fortified wall. All right, there he goes. Um, also, he got some relics, right? He's going to get his third relic eventually. Side side lumber really doing work for him. He just he needs more production buildings. <laughs> you know, he needs... He's done well with upgrades. But he canceled it! What? Why? I have a very special treat for you guys. It'll be the final game of this stream. Um, and that actually happened in a higher level game. I'm not going to spoil it. Some of you guys might have heard about it already. Easily one of the most ridiculous games. I still haven't thought about what the title is going to be for YouTube. It's sick. But I don't understand why... Okay. Now, now, oh, you're kidding me. Nickname Nico is now on the way to Imp. Now, if he cancels it, I just go offline. I'm just done for the day, okay? Hopefully, he continues to go to Imp. Uh, murder holes and now ballistics. Is the treat my 17 month of for Coltira. All right. Um... Castle in the middle, which means potential trebs. Um, man, forget eco upgrades. If Blue just built lumber camps, like this, this entire game would have been different. He doesn't have loom. Oh, it's just, guys. The thing is, I think Coltira. He's he's a boomer. He's a Sim City player. He doesn't like fighting. He's he's a pacifist. Wait, did he not? Did he drop the relic? I'm pretty sure that monk had the relic in his hand, and then he dropped it so he could go forward. Wait, is he making houses? Where are the houses at? He's doing it again. He's doing the try house. He's not a tryhard. He's a tryhouse. All of his houses are like that. <laughs> oh, God. And now he goes to the middle. Oh, this guy's going to throw it, isn't he? Oh, no. All right. On the bright side, this is all before Blue gets his imp upgrades. This is if Blue could even afford imp upgrades. Oh, God. He's really microing well. So I think he I think he clicked different units with the monks. Oh, drop a castle on him. Drop a castle, cool Tira. Now you're on your way to Imp. Okay, third time's the charm. Third time's the charm. Go back home. Get scared. This might give him he might start to envision what he could do and build a castle here and then trap this down later. Did you hear that Jordan is back? Um Yeah, uh, I also heard that Jordan after watching this game is gonna leave again, so. Sad times. Okay. Uh, Imperial Age. I, I don't think he's going to cancel it. Nice. Um, the monks are healing, which I like to see. He's going to get his third relic, which I like to see. Also, he's very, he must be an MBL fan because he waits till he gets pop capped badly to build houses. You know? Like, he doesn't think ahead with it. He's like, nope, I got pop capped. Let's now make houses. Okay, a forward mill. There have been some really confusing things in this game. And Blue doesn't have a single eco upgrade. However, this is quite possibly the most confusing eco decision I've seen. 4,000 food. Well past the point where you need deer. But he doesn't like the waste resources. So he <laughs> he's going to take the deer. Okay. Okay, he's now pop capped again. Because he's trying to produce so much. Is he going to build more houses? And is he going to build three at a time? New lumber camp. Deleted the mining camp. Alright, you know what? It's it's the same spot. It's good. You, you don't want to um, damage the ground too heavily. Redemption. So we can convert enemy siege. 
Um, Cavalier and two-handed swordsman were the choices for blue. 52 villagers versus 57. I, I can't believe what I'm seeing right now. By the way, I'm still not sure why the mill's there. Those villagers went somewhere else after the fact. Right side lumber camp. Yeah, I noticed that. Um, about as efficient as all the blues lumber economy, to be honest. <laughs> Blue, blues whole eco looks like this. Look, look at this. Oh man. My question is, is Blue gonna make... Is he gonna push in some way? Red still should win this. Okay, where is Houses gonna be? Houses, ha- Oh, God. Man, I've been asking pro players to hop in to like, to join for gamers too. I would never put a pro player in on a game this low elo, unless they wanted to. This is gonna scare all my guests away, right here. This, this... It's map control! It's late game map control! He knows! It's all about the farm space, right? All about the farm space. It's all about the- OH! And he's gonna hold, baby! He's gonna hold! Let's go! Hill bonuses! Uh, the- the mill is actually, uh, generating some wind, so it's blowing blue away. Quality, quality, uh, high elo stuff here from Coltira. No, don't do that. No, 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 no. Don't- don't do that. That's- that's not good. The castle does bad things. That is a bad, bad building. That is evil. Don't- I think he got excited here. I think he got really excited. And he got so excited that he's like, Yeah, we won the fight. Let's win the game. And now he's going to throw his army away. Oh, God. It's also a Byzantine castle. Hera, speaking of pro player, I knew you were around. <laughs> I asked Hera to join me today. I would, I, I, that's Hera's way of saying. <laughs> he's like, I'm not scared. Thank you for the resub, bro. Um, all right, taking the deer. All right. I like how he has a barracks in the south. And Whoa! Look at the queue! Holy cow. Wait, is he building houses? No. Oh, that's why he threw his units away. He was housed. You just have to turn every negative into a positive. That's it. You're pop capped. You have to lose units. And now he's making petards! Dude, you can make trebuchets, Coltira. Alright, I'm gonna update people on what went down in this game, just in case you missed it, okay? This is one of the lowest games I've ever done in Low Elo Legends. These guys are both freaking legends, alright? It's not just the title of the series. They are truly champs of the game, alright? So, Blue, like... He went for a 16 population scout rush at 15 minutes because he just stopped creating vils. It was like Huang would do, only, uh, only much worse. If n n yeah, it was just blow eco. And then eventually Blue realized, I actually need to make things. But he only started to really make new villagers when he got the middle, which no one seems to want to collect. Okay, now, now I'm a little bit concerned that Coltira might not realize that this is a 1v1. Because Coltira is getting, wait a second, Coltira was getting coinage and was getting... Uh, caravan and then canceled it. I think it's likely that Coltira might not know what things do. And then he'll like click it. Like look, he just clicked Parthian Tactics and now he's like, no, 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 no. Now, what? <laughs> Is he trolling me? I swear this guy's got to be listening to the stream. Why did he click all of those upgrades and then cancel them? Is he reading the text tree? Hera can, Hera can definitely relate to that. And three houses! Two groups of three houses! I am so... I don't... Coltira, you amaze me. You are incredible. This is... And then there's Blue, who did actually research plate mail and get help. Which in this game... Maxing out on tech and get making anything in the Imperial Age could win it. Ugh. Like... People just said Blue has caught up in Eco. Guys, he doesn't have Bidax, Horse Collar, or Wheel. And he always- oh, oh my god! He's learning. This is dangerous. This doubles the efficiency of his economy. 
And you know what? Maybe at this point he forgot where his old lumber camp was, so he couldn't get the upgrades. What if he gets bit axe right now? What? What if he gets it? Okay, never mind. I think I got too excited. Oh my god! The, the big boy plays. The big boy plays. That is enough petards to take... No, it's not. Never mind. I lied. That's not enough. That's enough to... to... Well? I don't know. He's man-at-arms. It's gonna be rather close, actually. Oh, no. Oh, this is... Oh, no. This is horrible. He's gonna lose everything to this, and the castle's gonna stay up. Oh, no. Why? I feel so much guilt for casting this right now. Coltira. Okay, well, Coltira obviously knows... He, he obviously has game knowledge, because he's gonna make... Uh, he's gonna go champion. <clears throat> what? Okay, obviously, Red will repair that. You just need to bang your your hammers onto the rock castle for the fire to disappear. Uh, whoa! Wait a wait! Oh, please build a castle with that villager. Coltira, go for the classic counter. Come on, one villager castle, you got it. He has 20 wood in his hands. So if he's got that much wood, you know this villager's got big balls. Come on! Drop it! That was a little bit too graphic. Drop a castle in his face! Drop a castle in his face! Let's go! Let's go! With the... Okay, blue is rang the bell. I was wondering if he was ever going to do anything with the... Uh, with the infantry in the south. Blue figures it's a great time to get wheelbarrow. Okay. That's... That's an interesting one. He's sending all of his military back, uh, including cav archers. Quite a few cav archers, in fact. Which, funny enough, is... You know what? Honestly, just... Make units and get upgrades, I'm happy. I don't even care what units they are at this point. Okay, Red sees this as a good time to try to take out Blue's castle again! No, dude, make trebuchets! Guys, he doesn't have gold. He doesn't have the pit. He does have relics. He does have the Saracen market, but... Coinage keep hoarding's husbandry. All right, all the texts. And he's he's now housed again, so he's going to need to make more houses, which I think he's been doing. It's pretty easy to find them. You just got to look for the, uh, the tri-house. I guess the sneak villager is going to die. Oh, dude. Okay, so I think to kill a Byzantine castle, you would need 12 petards? I mean, it is damaged right now. 8 is super close. 8 might take it down to 150 HP, if my math is correct. <gasps> 19 HP! Oh, he got it! He got it! My math was not correct. That is also going to be a huge blow to Blue's confidence. Alright, so he's now arriving with that pointy boys. I feel like the, the halves can clear this, though. Fortunately, there are Saracen crossbows in there, so that helps a little bit against the, the TC. Okay, who are you guys rooting for? Are, are, if you are rooting for blue, type a 1 in the chat. If you're rooting for red, type a 2 in the chat. If you're just enjoying life and you don't have... You're not biased in any way, type a 3. This is... This is something else right here. 69 population for blue. He has control of the gold. He has placed a new lumber camp. He got wheelbarrow. Are these stone miners? He had They had gold in their hands. I guess they were miners. He saw they had the pickaxe. So he's like, all right, that's their job. Let's send them here. Obviously, makes sense. No, no mining camp needed because we had one earlier. So, you know, just they walk faster now. There's wheelbarrow. It's fine. Um, he really wants another castle, though. That's why he's going to stone, I bet. Oh, uh, red, attack. Attack the units here. Ding, ding, ding. Blue rings the bell. Blue's gonna win again. Because he has imp upgrades. Because he has imp upgrades. 
he's gonna win this fight. Oh my god, I can't handle it! My emotions! Ah. Okay, Red's fighting with the hill now. He's running away. Oh, no. I mean, at least he has keeps, right? That's fine. I think he's fighting because he knows that the keeps are going to help him. And Blue's like, na na na. Na na na. I'm out of here. We're going to see this whole game continue like this. This... Hera, you might just want to... Um, I don't know. Just do a, a 24 hour stream and then when you're finished we can we can do our game. Because this is I could just see Blue building a castle again. And then Red throwing countless petards at it until he finally takes it down. And then Blue Oh wait a second! I jinxed it! I jinxed it! Coltira is like, we got this, boys. Now remember, Coltira earlier did know to use the Saracen Market. He did sell food and wood, so he could get a ton of gold if he needs it. Uh, also could mine gold here and also has three relics. Um, I love how he builds mill on all deer. He saw the deer in the north, built the mill, and actually ate the deer. Saw the deer here, built a mill, didn't eat the deer. Saw a mill here, and ate the deer. But you notice, again... The, the wind is pushing Blue back into his base. It's more about the location than anything. So this forces Blue back into the corner. This mill sends Blue away from the center. This mill sends Blue back into his corner. If, if he generated on the other side of the map, this strategy would not work. All right. Um, Blue is building a castle, which will go up. Because Red is attacking the castle. Ding, 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 ding. Oh my god, dude. Ugh. Okay. What <laughs> What is Red's response gonna be? <laughs> Petards! <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? Listen, you've already got one castle. <laughs> this is the problem. This is how the low edel player sees things. If something works, it's all the more reason to do it again. He destroyed a Byzantine castle with batards, and I'm trying to tell him not to do it again. That doesn't sound logical. That doesn't sound logical at all. Of course if it works, he's going to do it again. Ugh. And blue is... Man, can I just can I just point this out? Thank God for auto farm. I believe, I believe auto farm has been on for these players. Can you imagine what this elo would look like before auto everything? I mean, the lumber camp is closer to Mars than it is the wood that Red is chopping right now. Like, auto... Some of those quality of life features is so helpful. Oh, he's actually making a treb here. Okay. And now armor for blue. I mean, blue is Byzantines. He should really be massing more halbs. Well, red, you sneaky bugger. He really wants that gold now. That was very, very sly of you, but uh, not today. All right, here he comes. Or he's thinking about it. What was it? Eight petards last time? Yeah, I mean, the castle's damaged somewhat. I think 8 will do it again, especially with the trap. Red's gonna win this game here. I don't think blue... Well, oh god, blue has enough for another castle. Come on, Red, click the click the castle with the tarts. Yeah, yeah. That castle's gonna go down. And, um... There's actually not more economy for Red, but now he's the one producing. And now... The oh wow that was so close oh well calculated from Coltira he will lose the treb but the thing is the two-handed swordsman will destroy everything that Red has here I believe especially with the hill don't tell me you guys know what's coming 
You guys know what's coming, don't you? I know what's coming. Oh my god. Oh my god, man. I was kidding when I said it earlier. I didn't think it would actually happen a third time. Wait a second. And last time, Red just attacked the Castle Foundation. This time, he was prepared. Oh my god, it was part of his plan. A doubt Castle will finish the game. The big finish. The big finish. That's at 84%. I know it's hard to see there. 84%. If he takes the TC out, this could be it. Does he have any siege coming? It says he has two petards. Do you guys... Oh, wait. What the... They're right there. Hello? I think you forgot about it. That's, that's a bit of a problem. Use the petard against the, uh, the TC here. Oh, oh, he did. He did. You know, the Vils are going to un-garrison here in a second. And this could be the game. Kotira could do it right here. TC will go down. Castle will probably never go up. And, uh, that should be the victory for Kotira. I mean, you would imagine so. But I guess if you've sunk one hour and 41 minutes into a game, you really don't want to give up. <gasps> he did it! How to win a golden pit game without taking any control of the pit. He didn't take any gold from the pit in this game. Oh my god. This was... This was like an entire season of a TV show, you know? At the start, the character development begins. You see the background of the players. Obviously, Kaltira came from a rich family because he focused on economy, uh, invested the money he already had into more money. It happens, you know? Some people grow up in different environments. Then there's Blue, and Blue, he grew up in a rough part of town. He didn't, he didn't learn how to manage the money that he got, so he just spent everything right away and there was reward for that, you know? He he lived the high life for a while. He lived amongst all the gold, which was his dream when he was a young child. But it just wasn't sustainable. Jeez, Louise. Uh, okay, do you guys have some guesses on the uh, resources collected? Give me a guess on how much food you think Blue collected in this game. Keep in mind, no horse collar uh, did end up getting handcart, actually. I'm trying to think. I It was a rather long game. I want to say that he was at 9,000 food. I don't know. It's going to be too all over the place. <laughs> yeah, I'm obviously great at this. 18,000 food. <laughs> um, 9,000 was a little bit light. Okay, so 18,000 food collected. Uh, 37,000 food collected for Coltira. More food and more wood, and he had more gold collected only because of the relics and the fact that he sold his food and wood. So that does translate into that gold count there. Stone count was pretty similar. Uh, the KD was all over the place. The largest army was all over the place. Uh, man, the, there's so many threes. Like, hold, let's go back here. I think this is Illuminati confirmed. Three houses, three houses, three houses. Three houses, three houses, triangle, triangle, pyramid, pyramid, pyramid. It's a pyramid of pyramids if you think about it because he has three corners. So pyramid bases. And then you look to the achievements. How many relics did he collect? Three. How much gold did that bring in? 3,000. Hit the Imperial Age at one hour, 13 minutes. Three. Three. It's everywhere. You just can't avoid it. Illuminati confirmed. This is... This is ridiculous. I'm sure if he could have chosen his color, he would have gone for color three. Um, wow. That is... This is beautiful Age of Empires right here. Because you can see when they lose their military, and they wouldn't have a consistent units in the queue. And then they'd queue them right back up. Like, blue is a perfect example of that. Right here, loses everything, 
creates it all again. Loses everything, creates it all again. Loses everything, and then ended up giving it up. Oh, yeah, he also advanced through three ages. Wow. Ah, oh, um, okay, so normally low ELO Legends is higher than that. Um, I've been getting a lot of messages from people over, well, ever since this series has started, saying that they started to play online because of the series, that um, watching beginners or noobs play online play gave them the confidence, uh, made them realize that maybe they're not alone. Um, so I just want to say props to Coltira and, and nickname Nico. It, it was a solid game. It was very competitive. Props to DE for the matchmaking. That was a one hour and 41 minute game, which was back and forth the entire way through. So that's also pretty cool. Um, obviously, there are some really not so normal things that happens if we're comparing uh, these 550 ELO players to pro players. But I hope throughout the whole game, you guys obviously realize it was all in good fun. Um, you know, we laugh, we learn, and... Uh, we cast a mage, but oh my goodness. Now for blue, I actually can't finish talking about this just yet, um, but this is going to be the tail end of the video, obviously. Uh, for blue, I think you just got to get eco upgrades and create villagers more frequently. For red, you could obviously do the same because uh, it wasn't perfect there. I think he maxed out at 60 vils, but for red, you, you just got to produce units to get imp upgrades. He did not get imperial age upgrades. Um, also could have made trebs. But I was fighting with skirmishers and pikemen for a while and might have had something to do with the lack of gold, but still could have had bracer, chemistry, uh, armor, attack, all those types of things. Ugh. That was an adventure. I agree. That was an adventure. Unbelievable.